I am Phil I will get you talking about one item which will allow you to create organic shapes uh, tool. It's called the surfaces and I will show you how to use it to uh, to create a loft shape. Not only loft shape but also connecting polygons and uh, revolution around the axis. If you go to edit preferences uh, in add-ons, you have to manually uh, enable add-on. We got the version 8. Point, we got version 1.8.0. It's not the most recent, but it works perfect. Okay, uh, first I wanted to show you 3D cursor because we will draw flying we will draw shape uh, from uh, orthographic viewport you have to you have to hit button 5 on your keyboard to get to orthographic viewport and uh, no add and then I think I will draw something uh, we will be drawing now uh, loft a shape uh, we need the three separate shapes add annotation uh, we will choose uh, 3D cursor. Uh, keep in mind that if you draw shape, this must be open. You do not close a shape. Test shape. Then you have to switch to Y axis. Then uh, you have to choose what you can see on your keyboard cursor. Uh, orientation view. They added. Uh, <coughs> they added couple. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. They added geometry as well. Transform view. We need view. Again, uh, you switch to Z axis. Uh, add the annotation. Then you choose a uh, 3D cursor. We will draw. Another shape. Bigger. Because you can create fantastic shapes. Also, also now we will switch to the top view. Then gently uh, change uh, perspective and choose Z axis again. Uh, add the uh, annotation. You choose again 3D cursor and you will draw uh, open shape. I think now our shape is ready. Uh, I will save uh, in case something goes uh, wrong. Okay. But uh, we will have to add a mesh to our scene. Mesh of the surfaces. I think now we can choose now we can check some other settings across uh, we'll add some division uh, here uh, follow uh, depending on what polygon you work with because we only use the annotation but if you work with separate polygons I will show you now. Cursor to selected. Because you can also use curve to connect polygons. Uh, okay, I will use uh, uh, four points because I need... Uh, you have to have the same polygon to be able to do that. 50D. 
Uh, wait a minute, what is it doing? I forgot to turn uh, proportional edition off. I don't have much time. I wanted to show you as quick as possible. The surface is blank. Ah. Extension of the file came up. <clears throat> okay, now we will have to add the curve, uh, not Messier, because Messier is supported. And then we change the resolution. I will uh, speak. I will. Uh, I will speak with two. I think uh, you have to snap to polygon points. You turn on snapping vertex uh, closest project on the cell back face cooling. Uh, you deselect this because you don't need it and you don't select those. Make make sure you select the gray circle. Uh, also, we will have to rotate uh, this uh, handles. Uh, I had to rotate handles. You can also subdivide polyg. You can subdivide uh, curve bezier to have a desired shape. To have more natural shape because by handle you can also change properties of curve. Uh, wait a minute, why this looks like that? Sorry, people, I have to fix my curve. Oh, I will have to. I think I didn't put properly my curve object. This is what I don't like to work with because this can be sometimes annoying. Okay, now we have proper shape curve object. I think I have to copy in edit mode uh, shift S cursor to select it. Then we select by uh, we will use on our keyboard dot then you have to turn this on uh, and uh, 3D cursor. Shift D, Shift D, Shift D. Okay, wonderful. What you have to do now, you will have to select uh, in front of order polygon points. One, two, three, four. You switch to curve, you choose curve, then you choose polygon once again. Uh, we will, we have got beautiful the surfaces. You can adjust it. You can see how beautiful thing you can create by using add-on the surfaces. Uh, another way how you can work with polygons Using this again, you can uh, draw one shape. I will show you. And you can uh, use revolution around the axis. But we will have to use Z axis. Maybe in the middle. Make sure this is right. This cursor. Very important. Uh, annotation, add annotation. Uh, I'm thinking to draw shape of the way, shape of the jar or something like that. I will have to convert uh, to uh, curve. Then we change uh, uh, interpolation. You can also Change resolution of the curve. Uh, I've forgotten about something. 
I wish I was in a medicinal curve. I think I will have to switch to Vezier. Oh, this is actually Vezier, so I don't have to worry. I think in this case I have to, uh, look, I have to check where I'm supposed to leave my 3D cursor, maybe here. Because in edit mode I will copy clockwise. Shift the D. Shift the D. We have a type profile, but I have to scale. I will. I think I will have to scale the object like in here. I could do this vector, but uh, at the moment I will probably leave as it is, shift S, cursor to select it. Ah. Uh, I'm thinking if I should get scale this, because I have to make sure this will work okay. Add mesh, plane. It's not only that. Possibility what you can do with it. Okay, let's uh, use a picker object. You select plane and then you choose curve, but I will delete my old one and I choose, I choose this. Add surface. Uh, in this case, you will have to select cyclic cross. Follow, cross, so I can add more segments to get out. Oh, I thought it would not work as fast as possible. I have to delete that polygon, because that polygon was belonging to this polygon. Shift S, cursor to selected. You can quickly rotate. We have beautiful ways. Uh, do, I say, do I say correctly in English? Sorry, please forgive me. Uh, I, I don't know if I... Vowel. I mean vowel ways. That's fine. I wasn't sure. But I'm, uh, I'm correct. Normal circle to like outside mesh. Smooth faces. And don't forget to use auto smooth. Or now we have beautiful ways. Now it looks beautiful. If you want to add segments uh, from the inside, you can always add uh, modifier, solidify. It will add Geometry to inside. I hope you like my video tutorial. Uh, I showed you a couple of possibilities, three possibilities what you what you can do with using this tool.